Hi, this is Monica. Today I'm making the Devon pouch by Sotac Patterns. It's a paid pattern, so I won't be giving out any dimensions or seam allowances. This is the one I made before. It's got a zipper top, zipper tabs, although in the pattern they don't use zipper tabs. And then it has a front pocket. I use water proof canvas for the inside of this in there and it fits all my makeup brushes just perfectly. Today what I'm using is this fabric here. I believe it's Tula Pink. I don't remember. I got it. Uh, I got this as a project from My Handmade Space and it came with the zipper tape and everything and the interfacing but I don't remember what the project was for so I'm making a Devon out of it. So I'm just going to measure my zipper, put a zipper pull on. Now I'm doing my zipper longer just so it's easier for me, but you don't have to. I'm burning the edges to keep it from getting frayed. And then I'm just going to put on the zipper pull that came with this zipper. If I can get it open. <laughs> and I'm going to use my zipper jig over here. But I'm not going to film it. I have a video that shows how to use the zipper jig. Which I will link. Okay, so that's on there. Now, what I'm going to do... It's just lay it across the top and sew it on. I'm going to keep my zipper pull out of the way until it's time to move it over. And I'm putting it face down. See the raised part of the zipper? I'm putting it face down onto the right side of here. And my zipper pull is going to close towards the left. Even though on that Devon I showed you, it goes the other way around. Um, that's when I was first learning, so I didn't do it to the left. But if you're left-handed or you prefer it to the other side, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is your bag. You can do it however you want. So I'm just going to stitch that down. Oh, and I'm using Wizards and Stitchery Thread Tech 35. I think it's called My Geeky Hardware now, and it's, uh, I believe it's uh, bonded polyester is what it is. And I have that in the top and the bobbin. I'm just sewing along the very edge. back stitching there. I have a non-stick foot on because I am going to put some touches of vinyl. Although with this thin vinyl, I don't think I really need it, but I'm going to do it anyways. So this is what you have. There's the wrong side and I have SF 101 on the back and here's the right side. If you want a more padded bag, you could use fusible fleece. I just want a light weight bag that I can throw in my bag. Take one of the pocket linings and put it on top and then stitch that down. Zipper pulls not getting caught. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to give that a press and top stitch it.
Okay, this is the front and this is the back. We're gonna take the other pocket piece and line it up on the top of this zipper on the back. And we're just gonna stitch across there. All right, I'm gonna move my zipper in because I'm going to stitch down both sides and to close that pocket. I'm just going straight off the bottom. I have to close up the pocket, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, here's your pocket and your zipper. Everything's still hanging off. I'm not going to trim anything yet. Um, but here's my vinyl. I'm going to lay it right on top and clip it on both sides and then sew down both sides. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to sew down both sides and then I'm going to top stitch. All right, thread, get out of my way. I'm going to do the same down this side while keeping that zipper closed. Oh, my clips are in my way. Let me move those. Okay, this is what you have now. You're going to open this up towards that side. You're gonna push your seam towards the vinyl and then top stitch on both sides of these. Trim off your zipper ends now, if you want to. And I'm going to top stitch this between a four and a four and a half, right an eighth of an inch. There's my nice top stitch on that side. So now I'll do the same to this side. And there it is, both top stitched. Now I'm gonna clean up all my threads. Now. I have another piece of vinyl that's gonna go on top of here. And I'm just going to clip it on and do the same thing, sew it across. So it's just like this. Now just sew across. And I'm going to start right where I know that um, other vinyl is and back stitch. And then make sure you keep it lined up. And when you get to that zipper pull, make sure you get it out of the way. 
line back everything back up, put it down, and sew across. Okay, and this is what you have. Now you're going to open it up. You're going to do the same thing, and you're going to push the seam allowance up towards the vinyl and then you're just going to top stitch across there. Okay, this is my back piece. I made mine the same as the lining because I didn't want the side accent pieces on the back. So what I'm going to do is find the middle of this, give it a little crease. Same with the vinyl, a little crease. And then I'm just going to put it on there and stitch it across. So now this is the back. We're just going to stitch across the top, flip it up, and top stitch. Now we have this, we're going to flip it up and do the same thing. We're going to flip this seam allowance up towards the vinyl and then top stitch. Oh, I got to turn this up to a four and a half. I like a bigger top stitch, especially with this variegated yarn. I think it just looks pretty or not yarn thread it's blue and purple variegated and there's that all ready to go we got to get our zipper ready First of all, I'm going to put these two together and then trim it, trim it up right along there. No, I don't want that one. I got to get a different one. Oh, there went my knee again, but at least it's plastic. It doesn't hurt. And you can add a wristlet to this if you want. I'm not going to. I gotta move that zipper out of my way so it's not. Whoop. Line this back up. Turn it this way. Trim it off. Now, I'm not going to save the strips of vinyl, but I will save these little strips because I can use them in my scrap quilting. And for now, I'll just. Sh oh, wait, my, I moved my scrap bucket over here. Okay. So now those are all evened up, except for the bottom. So now I'm just going to cut off the bottom. And 
and that took care of most of the threads. So there you go. Now my panels are good. Now I gotta prep another zipper. Believe it or not, I will pick that up later <laughs> if I can find it. And I always burn my ends to keep the um, let's see, does this one have an inside pocket? Because there's no, there's no pocket in here, but you could put one in if you wanted to. I'm not a gonna. So then you're just going to put your zipper on here. Okay, I have my zipper on. It's out of the scraps. So I'm going to sew those on. Alright, so I'm just going to... Oh, i got to turn this back to a two and a half. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Put it in there, fold it, and stitch it on there. Get it on straight. Wait a minute, this isn't... I don't want that kink in there. So let's get that out. Now put them in there. Look, this one's longer. I'm going to trim that little piece. There we go. Burn it up. up. Now. Get that in there. In the middle of this. Okay. I'm just going to stitch across. Okay, so that's done. And there's my zipper. the front. I'm going to move that zipper out of my way all the way to the other side. I'm going to find the middle of the zipper, the middle of this, and I'm going to line up the zipper right in the middle. Although it's easier, I want it to close on this side, so. And uh, All right, now I got it in the middle. So now I'm going to do that and then there. So we're going to stitch this on right across there. Hmm. 
I had uh, templates made myself. I made them out of, uh, you know, cutting boards. But I don't know whatever happened to them. They must have got mismatched in the move. So now I'm going to find the lining pieces. And we're going to line it up. with the edges. And now we're just going to stitch across there. Okay, I'm going to move that zipper pull out of my way. Line everything back up, put it down. I gotta do something about this squeaking chair. That's for sure. Now we're going to flip the lining. Okay, it was like this, this is how we sewed it. We're gonna flip it over, upstitch across the vinyl, and I'm going to put the seam going towards the vinyl. So, there's that. It's done. So, I'm going to push that out of the way. Now, I'm going to put the other piece on top. I'm going to take my back panel and put it on top of this. Make sure everything's lined up on both sides. And then I'm going to stitch across there. Okay, now I gotta move that zipper pull out of the way. Out of the way. And hopefully I won't have any more hang ups on that thread. I should have used my spool stand. Line this up. Line you up. And back stitch. Okay, now I'm just going to clip my threads. Now I'm going to take the other lining piece and line it up and sew it on here. All my clips is over here. One there. One there. And one over here. Okay, I'm going to move that zipper pull out of the way. And stitch back across. Okay, now we're going to open this up. Push the lining towards there and top stitch on here. Turn this back up. Sure, that's over at my way. <clears throat> okay, there 
it is all top stitched. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your two linings and pin those together. I like to start at the two seams here and line those up and make sure I push the zipper into the lining. I'm going to put a square out. Okay, and this is what we have. I'm going to start on the lining. I'm going to sew across the top. I'm not going to break thread. I'm going to sew all the way across the bottom or across the side. Don't break thread across the bottom. Back up the other side and stop here. Back stitch so you leave a hole for turning. I'm going to get these squared all at once, nest the seams, put one one way, one the other. On all and then go around and sew it. Basically just going to sew across there. corners. Now I'm just going to trim, trim up all my threads. You're going to stick your hand in through the hole where we left a hole for turning. Reach right in and grab a hold of the bottom and pull it through gently. And make sure you poke out your corners, poke out your zipper tabs. Make sure everything's sewn, because if it's not, this is the time to sew it. And here's my tag. It says, Mona did what? I just fold it in half. And then I take the lining, after I poke out the corners, make sure everything's done there. And then you're going to tuck in these ends to sew across, but not that far. Alright, let's tuck this in there. And I'm just going to slip that tag right in there. And then I'm just going to sew right across the bottom. Alright, clip all your threads and then I always check the back to make sure it's done. And there you go. Now we're just going to tuck that into the bag. Oops, looks like I missed a thread. Can't have that. Okay. Now let's just tuck it in there. 
<laughs> There's your zipper bag. It's got a box corner, zipper tabs, which you can do the original pattern. And you can find this pattern on SOTAK, S-O-T-A-K. And I think they have an Etsy shop. I think that's where I bought it. But there you go. It's a cute little pouch. Thanks for watching. <laughs>